Pisces. This can be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hopefully there is something here that gives you a little bit more detail in regards to your love situation first and foremost. So let's have a look and see what comes up for you, Pisces. Five cards for love. Um, what's coming up in love? Okay, this felt like this card wanted to jump out. Okay, jumping to conclusions, maybe um, there's a bit of resistance coming forward here. Especially those that are dealing with a fire sign. Okay, there's more fire. You've got fire with the wands here. You've got earth. And you also have um, uh, the lovers card, which is Gemini. Now, um, someone is jumping to conclusions potentially or someone uh, someone's opinions or something is going to be met with resistance in relationships okay so if we're taking the equation thing out of it the lover's card is a focus on communication or mentality um so th this month could be a situation here uh, where someone says or does something and it might be used against the other okay pisces might be used against you you might use it against the other person but um it's going to be met with resistance meaning someone might not necessarily agree to something okay they might show signs that they're in two minds about a situation uh, or they're unsure. Okay, there's uncertainty because you have the nine of wands. So in a love situation, there could be someone showing signs of uncertainty um, or purposely delaying something. Okay, the hangman can be delays, either delays in communication. So you might notice someone pulling back. Maybe someone taking longer to respond to you. And, and look, they might have other things going on. Or maybe it's it's um, it could show that this person right now isn't agreeing with how you're wanting things or the expectations you might be placing on them in relationships. And for some of you, things might be in the early stages still. You know, the sun card came up. So it can show something that's still in, in its early days. So if this isn't a connection or a relationship that's in its early days, then the sun card could indicate you need to take something quite slow and be quite playful at the same time. You know, the child is playful. It's not really burdened with anxious or presumptuous thoughts. So maybe this is the certain approach you need to take in regards to love this month. And for a lot of you, there's definitely a message here that you are dealing with a soulmate. You've got the lovers. Um, these beautiful divine uh, couple that's being brought together by an angel here. So the gods, your spirit guides, uh, the universe, you know, you can put any label on it. Um, but this is a very powerful connection that's around you. So, and, and the fact that that's come up near the four of ones, some of you are definitely celebrating something major. I don't know if it's an anniversary or it's going to be the first of many anniversaries. Um, but there's something about a powerful connection that's forming or a face-to-face -face meeting that might occur. Um, some of you might be meeting someone online or at a distance, or if you've been long distant, you might be, uh, if you've been long um, in a long distant connection with a romantic partner, they might surprise you. Okay, I did mention pleasant surprises. So there could be um, last minute plans to see each other. It could be someone surprising you. You might think about surprising them. Um, but I feel like that it's a strong point here for long distance connect, uh, connections or foreign lovers. For you Pisceans, I feel like that's your strength in regards to love um, this month. But also communication, okay? There's a lot of opportunities where you'll be able to, to, to say what you um, speak, to think what you say, uh, to say what you think. Um, there'll be a lot of opportunities in the physical realm, okay? You've got divine intervention on your part. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles, for the most part, does offer loyalty and consistency. So there's something that's going to become a tradition or that's going to become habitual between you and another person. Okay, it might be the way you communicate. It might be the places you go, the things you're doing. But it might be something you'll set in motion that's going to become familiar with the both of you starting from this month. Okay, um, but there might be an Earth sign here. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo coming in and offering you love, okay? Ace of Pentacles also rules the monetary realm, so you might be spoilt. You might be receiving something that's quite valuable. I did mention value here with the King of Cups. So for some of you, that could definitely indicate something quite valuable that's coming to your possession because of another person. Now, for others, 
Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Wands, it's either you're meeting someone who's at a point in their life where they're quite established and they've got the career and the assets down pat, they're wanting something more romantic, more emotionally fulfilling, or it's someone who's making you an offering, okay, they might be lending you money, they might be helping your business, they might be saying, hey, why don't you move in with me, maybe we could make this work, we could save some money, the relationship is going great, um, but the hangman is here. And the hangman does something that he knows is wrong or does something that he knows is not the right time. And then in essence, he's punished for it in a way you can see he's hanging upside down. So um, I guess don't be hasty that Knight of Wands. You know, it can be good in some situations, Pisces, but sometimes it's important we don't rush into things. Um, he's very spur of the moment, the Knight of Wands, and the Hangman, he might be telling you not to rush things when it comes to love. There could be delays, but maybe these delays are good. Maybe in hindsight, these delays need to happen um, before you before you enter that doorway and, and into the next phase of your connection uh, or your relationship. You might need to wait, or there might be someone who's wanting to wait um, now, now for others of you, because the hangman speaks of punishment, there could be someone giving you silent treatment this month. There might be a situation here where the other person is introverted. They're not revealing much. They're hiding things. Um, and this is going to give you a lot of perspective. You're going to learn a lot about them. You're going to see them for who they are. The Four of Cups is here, and this is us seeing things as clear as day. They may not come as we like in, in, in the way that we like, um, but there's a reason why they come to our um, perception. They come to our senses, okay? So there might be something here that pops up, um, but a beautiful soulmate connection that's existing around you or someone with that sort of potential around you. So that's quite exciting. Let's move on and have a look at career though, creative pursuits or money. Let's see what's coming up for you, Pisces in those areas okay new chapters and new beginnings coming in for some of you there's uh, wow okay career or creative pursuits or money fame wealth success there's definitely the notion of new chapters the children, I did mention childhood dreams in the general. I feel like it pertains more to your career and creative pursuits. It's something you've wanted, whether it's storytelling, education, fame, production, um, working with people, helping others, um, turning situations around, whatever sort of industry or profession or calling um, that's coming up here for you. There's major, um, major revelations um, coming up around you. The judgment card is contract or uh, contracts um, or receiving feedback, but this feedback is not from just anyone. It could be someone who's quite high up, someone who's famous, someone who's in um, a very good position in a certain industry or company, um, and you might be meeting with this person. Uh, so you might need to brush up on your skills because you're going to feel the child is easily intimidated. Let's face facts, okay? And there's several children in these cards here. So um, there is someone you're meeting who's quite intimidating or is going to make you feel like a child. You might get very excited. You might feel quite giddy. Um, you might even be starstruck. The star card is here. This is fame and, and, and public knowledge and awareness. Um, it's also exposure, okay? Um, you're going to be exposed to something. Uh, you could be meeting someone from the past or someone that you used to work with or someone who knows about your childhood dream and they might be helping it come to fruition. The angel is here, the angel Gabriel, coming to inform and inundate the people of the good news. So um, there's some big news that's going to be tied into feedback. Either it's uh, trials, it's, it's probations, it's money reviews. Okay, Wheel of Fortune can be increased money, increased pay. Uh, the Ace of Wands is here, which does speak of quite, a, quite an opportunistic time in your career. Things will be moving, okay? Pay attention to people that you're connecting with online, socially, through social media, professionally, LinkedIn, um, business corporations, companies that are either reaching out online or reaching out on public platforms, um, especially if you do have anything that you're releasing. 
the star card is business launches the star card is ebooks the star card is having your work out there to the world um, it's also Aquarius energy some of you might have an Aquarius coming in or the period of Aquarius which does hover around February is uh, quite prominent for you in your career but definitely unions and childhood dreams that are being fulfilled here something about divine timing it's either an opportunistic time to fulfill a childhood dream or an opportunistic time to go ahead and chase that childhood dream you've swept under the rug, um, you never thought possible, you sort of gave up on, or maybe you were taking a hiatus from uh, whatever the reasons. He Maybe you ended up having a family and, and concentrated on those sorts of relationships and not so much the one with you have, the one that you have with your creative self or your business self. So it could be an opportunistic time to nurture that relationship because something very good can come of it. The Wheel of Fortune can also be seen as completion. So you might be completing something, um, a book, a contract, a deal, um, temporary work, long-term work, um, long service leave. The Ace is a new chapter, okay? There could be important meetings, but like I said, they're intimidating meetings potentially. Now, the Six of Cups can also be working from home. Okay, um, reaching the community, working with the community, um, working from home or establishing a base from home somehow. It could even be a self-startup uh, business or something of this kind here that's going to come to you. Um, these ideas are going to come to you. Um, Aquarian, Aquarian energy is very buzzing. It's very self-aware. It's very knowledgeable. It's very confident. So you've got confidence if you want to meet with someone, so you might be charming a lot of people, um, you might notice that you're attracting a lot of good attitudes from the people you're working with, even Pisces. So you might come to see that. Um, there could also be laws and legalities intervening uh, into career or, or um, business setups, paperwork, immigration maybe. Um, but this is also potentially coming up. But the star, the wheel of fortune, the ace, there's something here that you're meant for. Pisces but it's something that you want you've wished upon a star um, now the star card can also be healing so for some of you there's healing of a situation either redeeming yourself okay child is brings up thoughts of innocence um, redeeming yourself healing a situation could even be financial healing um, because suddenly your luck is changing Suddenly you're leaving behind the devils, the draining energy and coming up to more power, more prestige, more fame, more acknowledgement with the Sphinx here as well. I will leave your reading at that though, Pisces.